Good morning, everybody. Today we'll discuss the 2,4-D and pH test. To understand what is 2,4-D and pH, we have first to understand what is ammonia. Ammonia, NH3. One nitrogen to which three hydrogen atoms are bonded. From this, we can understand the formula of hydroxyl and 2H4. From hydrazine, we can understand the structural formula of phenyl hydrazine. One hydrogen in hydrazine has been substituted by a phenyl. 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine has the and two group, two and two group in the phenyl hydroxyl. So, <coughs> two four, two position, four position, we have two nitro groups in the phenyl group bonded to hydroxyl. Two four dinitrophenylhydroxyl is used to test the carbonyl group present in aldehyde or keto. This is in aldehyde, the aldehyde group, and this is in ketone, the carbonyl group, the ketonic group. One example of an aldehyde is propanal, CH3, CH2, CH2. It contains the, car the aldehyde group, which contains the carbonyl group. When 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine is added to propanol, a precipitate is formed. A yellow precipitate is formed. In the reaction, a small amount of acid is required as catalyst. So I have here propanol. If I add 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine, 24 the NPH. I obtain a yellow precipitate. A yellow precipitate is full. The DNPH 2,4-dinitrophenohydrazine has reacted with the oxygen in the carbonyl group of propanol. This Water is removed in this reaction, so we call it a condensation reaction. The product is as follows. The product name is propanol 24 dinitrophenyl hydrazone. The yellow precipitate is propanol 24 dinitrophenyl hydrazone. This test, 24 DNPH test, is used to test the presence of carbonyl group, it is also used to identify an aldehyde or a ketone. So, to do the 2,4-D NPH test, we need to take the solution or the liquid, and to it we add 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine. A precipitate is formed, a yellow precipitate is formed, indicating the presence of a carbonyl group, either ketone or an aldehyde. Thank you very much for your attention. See you another time for another lesson. Goodbye.